Hello boys and thank you for watching my Total War Warhammer video! In this video I'm gonna show you a replay of me fighting as a high elf garrison, just a simple tier 2 garrison, against a druki army with ranked and armored units. Sounds like an impossible fight. Is it? Let's see what led to it. So, as you can see, I had Venom Glade right in the middle of everything, conquered with Craven Tail to the east and Malekif to the west. So, Craven Tail decided out of nowhere to throw a plague of STDs on Venom Glade and whoever lived there. Defenseless elves. I had an army of a few archers and spearmen just to, you know, help Tyrion around, be a support team. They didn't survive for long. Malekith just came in a couple of turns later because I couldn't pull her back because she was infected and like. I just bring her back to Volzanville. Like, Volzanville gets fucked as well. Like, plague, you know, it just spreads. So she stays there, she dies. Malekith gets infected because he takes over the fucking town. Okay, that's a weird decision, but whatever. Uh, he can't get replenished because it gets attrition from the plague. The thing is that him and Craven tell our buddies, well, whatever. Uh, he starts on, after a turn later, he starts on advancing south while Tyrion is fighting another one of his lackeys to the west. So, the, his army keeps getting attrition, but he survives by the time he gets to Val Zanville. Val's Anvil Garrison is one turn away from upgrading to tier 3 into walls and more units, but yeah, just not enough time. It gets attacked. And let's see the rosters. So, as you can see, all of my units were obviously full HP because they are a garrison. They weren't ever attacked before. His, on the other hand, had 50 to 75 percent of, and even higher on the hero department HP with medium to high tier units with high ranks. That's very important, uh, very impactful, especially against weak units like mine. Uh, he had a legendary Lord Malekith, super powerful. A lot of, of offensive spells and he can just fuck you up and those death hugs just not helping. Okay, all of my units are noobs. No ranks. Because they're garrison, well, what can they do? You know? And the computer gave me about 25% chance to win. That's not very reassuring. So, let's move on to the fight. Okay, let's see how I position my troops beforehand. Firstly, I put those couple of Illyrian river archers right where they stand now. To harass the enemy troops, I knew they didn't have any range to counter those rivers. So... I said, okay, I'm gonna bring them as close as possible to the enemy ranks and just guide them around, harass them, drop their HP a little, because the rivers are just not very strong. And yeah, okay, they were doing their job. Over here I have the eagle ready to charge their artillery. Not yet, of course, because he'll just get 
turn down. A couple of unshielded silver helms right here in the trees. And the bulk of my army, all of the infantry and the hero noble. Just waiting to advance through the trees into this high ground. So, let's start and see how it goes. I'll speed it up a little because nothing really happens at the start. They're chasing me. Something very bad happens. His units see mine behind the trees, behind the hill. I don't know how. I mean, look. How can you see them? I don't know. Anyway. I'm getting stressed. I need to throw these guys and hopefully they can throw all of them. These guys away. We away! Quickly now! Due to this, I kind of forget about these guys. Eagle is on his way to fuck up the artillery. Can I be praised? We go! He's angry. A Syrian willing! Not good, not good, not good. Following orders! Swiftly. Come on. Oh, my units disappeared into the trees. And here we go. Can I be praised? Ravens, your warriors flee well. Oh yeah, I did tell you I forgot about them. Okay, let's speed it up though. Yeah, so I freed my silver helms to help kite in a little and maybe to get some kills against the bleak swords. He's got a troop of bleak swords around here. Let's see. Speed it up a little more. Boom! Malekith gets a headbutt and doesn't really do anything. Crossfire on the sol on the bleak swords. In the meanwhile, something very important happens, and artillery is taken down by my eagle. Good job, buddy. My rivers get a little feisty, but they manage to run away. Quite tight here, and why? Why does this? In. Look, can't you just move around those troops? I mean, they're just, you know, on their feet. They don't really do anything to you, you're fucking war horses. Huge, muscular war horses, and you can just pass by them. Yeah, okay, let's go. Run, run, run. Run like the wind. In the meanwhile, the bulk of my army is ready. To accept any kind of troops that's gonna come up the hill. Setting and they are coming. They relaxed a bit. They know what they're doing. I managed to kite some more. That is super important. That I managed to draw all of these guys away from these guys because that's kind of funneling I managed to get and it's also very important that the units I managed to get were relatively low already thanks to the plague I'm and you will see soon exactly why yeah follow me follow me They are doing their job, taking care of Cold One Knights. It's also very important that I managed to get the cavalry a bit busy. They are winded now, that's also pretty important, especially when you need to fight uphill. See 
a bit more infant now we're going up here they're all fresh because they didn't really move a lot it's fine my horses are getting some more they're trying to find a target this will obviously not be a target for horses you know anti-large very strong anti-large black guard of nagaron Okay, what I do here, I have three regim regiments of Lordern Sea Guards and a couple of normal archers with light armor. I group all three and the couple into two different groups and I give them jobs. I'm pretty sure I told one of them to attack the Black Guard. And the other ones to attack the executioners. Executioners are anti infantry, they make short work of my spearmen. They have to go really fast. Moving out! God, I love the rain of arrows. I also noticed that all of his infantry are tunneling in this direction. You see, they are not going uphill to try and attack through here although that might have been a better choice if it was human it probably do that because it at least gives you a kind of coverage from the arrow fire you have to walk all of this way under fire and that will take its toll for sure but if you go like this would have stood a better chance and it's less like uphill you know look at the curve on this thing oops sorry and let's continue at the moment my silver helms are getting their asses kicked a bit cause yeah that's a lot of micromanagement and I'm new to total war games so, it's a bit hard, but I'm managing. Let's go. Your lord is under attack. That's not a lord. Some noob noble thinking is something. He isn't very amazing versus infantry at this point. His armor piercing, he's got okay damage, okay melee attack, good melee defense. But he won't survive for long. I'm getting some more. It's amazing that I managed to get all of his in of all of his uh, cavalry right over here. And hello. That's not good. We got mages, but we also have an eagle. Okay, the execution also gone, and my spearmen now help with the rest of the infantry. Something I did here that I don't know if you guys noticed, the Great Eagle is kind of like a shock cavalry it's not really meant to stay there and beat on something it's best used if you pull it out and throw it back in to the fight that's the best way to do damage just like um well a shock cavalry it's funny how it tries to use such magic against a single opponent. Now it's a lot of fun. The enemy just backs up like this and the arrow fire can do amazing work this way. Let's see what's going on around here now. These guys are kinda like behind. They are moving. 
these guys got intercepted. That hurts. And Malekif is here, like daydreaming or something. I'm starting to lose my spearmen. A lot of damage. There is just a lot of damage. For the king! Tyrion is not here anymore. Okay, very important. A hero is rooting. Routing? Routing. Pull back! Pull back. That's not good. Spearmen are running. What else is going on? Silverhelms are running for their lives. They got intercepted and got wrecked. My other regiment of Silverhelms are going for Malekef. It's going to be fun. Oh no, the eagle is running. Charge! Now, as you can see, both of my melee infantry are gone. That's really bad. So, fortunately, I have Northern Seaguard put them into melee mode and charge them in. They're literally just as good as spearmen, just have less HP. They can really take care of themselves in melee. Well, the rest of the uh, ranged units pick off whatever is left. My eagle is back. Due to the commotion, I forget those silver helms. Rip. <coughs> Excuse me. And due to some more commotion, I forget about these guys. They're coming. The only problem for them is... Bodan Seaguard, anti-large, large defense. They're gonna make a short walk out of those cold ones. In the meanwhile, those Illyrian river archers charged up from behind and did some damage. Go, go! Take Fekka out! They are kind of fucked. Now, <clears throat> I keep those those uh, sea guard attacking the cold one night some more because I know because he just used his um, murderous intent and that gives them more leadership and I really have to bring it down because those guys are dangerous even when low HP. For the Ever Queen. For now, I let those units rest. They are very tired. Any kind of rest is important in such long fights. Now, those units are out of ammo. One last thing I can do with them is charge them up against weak units and hope for the best. There aren't any more weak units left. It's either cavalry or black guard of Nagaon. Those are the last guys I wanna pit up my Illyrian rivers against. So, Malekif it is. Together with the eagle that keeps missing. Charge! 
Bomba! Those guys are attacking some more. The Black Guard are charging up here again. For some reason, he forgot about those guys. They're just standing there and not doing anything. Com I didn't notice the computer just doing something like that. After he had already charged, uh, started charging. But. The last of my silver helms are taking care of the last spellcaster he has. Now I'm using the shock cavalry, the only way I can throw them, charge them out, and charge them in onto Malekith. They barely do any damage, but he barely does any damage to them as well, because they're so fast. As you can see, all of my remaining archers with the remaining ammo just took out the black guards before it was full HP regiment and it gone just gone that's what up uphill does to you no. called the one knights very strong what can you do against spears then? What can you do against Sigurd? Nothing, nothing. He started moving those guys a bit. They're walking. That's smart. Also something important when you use shock cavalry. Whenever you can get a high ground, Use it. Charging downhill is a lot better than charging uphill or no hill. Those fuckers are gone. Battle is pretty much mine by now. Malek is. Oh, the death is strong. Can I be praised? Kick is a swiftly. Quickly now. Oh no. Oh no. We go. Quickly. And they're gone. Draw back. We have failed. Onward. I was also very lucky in this fight that they didn't have a single ranged unit to take out my great eagle. I relied heavily on him. He didn't kill too much, but he did a very important job. He took out the artillery back then, and he did a lot of damage on both heroes and Malekith. Those guys are... are just... Burn to death. Malakif. I already made it. Goodbye. Now both my archer regiment. Another uh, Lord on Sea Guard out of ammo. Send them in to the fight. This guy has obviously lost his courage a long time ago. I just kept him here for the leadership buff. And GG. Now this pisses me off. Pyrrhic victory it was totally worth it it's a shitty garrison against a huge army that's not Pyrrhic that's totally worth it victory so 
Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope I wasn't boring. And um, leave comments about whatever suggestions, criticism. I take it all. So until next time. Wah!